brought him on the fly. What? This is the all red Victorian cichlid. I don't know, what are you gonna have listed them all? Uh, male, pair, breeder pack, which is one male, three females. Dude, that's a hot fish right there, dude. You can buy anything, you can buy just female if you want one. Mike D from Imperial Tropicals, because this dude is who I get my fish from. He's got the jam, and he's been doing it a long time. His family's been doing it. Mike D, everybody knows where you're from, what you're doing. Show us some of your sexy fish, bro. All right, now before I show you a bunch of Mike D's amazing fish that he brought to the aquatic experience, I want to give you a little backstory on my man. First of all, the guys down at Imperial Tropical are great people. They're also my age, and I've been down to their fish farm multiple times. I actually stayed at my man Jacob's house. These guys sell a bunch of great fish on imperialtropicals.com. They're also responsible for one, two, three, four, five, six. That's right, six 33 longs that everybody wanted to get their grimy little fish tank fingers on at the aquatic experience, but couldn't at the end of the show. Mike D, who's the man, decided to give me the additional six 37 talls, 40 talls if you're a freestyler like me. So I rolled away from the aquatic experience with 12 aquariums being pulled behind the wonderful back of my Toyota Sienna XLE minivan. Oh, by the way, they also have amazing fish keeping facilities. They have multiple deep ponds that they periodically sand and pull out just amazing fish. You can see how this is done here. They also have multiple greenhouses on site with 200 gallon concrete vats something that I'm thinking about for Greenhouse 2.0, where they raise all kinds of great cichlids, rainbows, you name it. So click links around here, check out other videos from Imperial Tropicals, and enjoy Mike D's personal fish that he entered in the show. I've seen you click links around here for this plecos and stuff. Yeah. Bring the heat right away, dude. We got the, the big lip, Madoka white lip. With big lip. Oh lips. god, I love the lips dude, on that I mean, fish. That's like the lips that you want to kiss right there, dude. That's a beautiful fish, man. That's sick, isn't it? White lips. That's a bad <laughs> fish, man, because it's perfectly dude. named. And the lips are perfect on that fish. How long you had that fish, dude? Um, that fish is probably two years old. No. Uh, wow. So we breed them. We they don't. They're not easy to breed, so we don't have a, a bunch of them. But we right. are working on getting a bunch because I got a bunch of people waiting for them. So. The Madoka White Lip. Madoka White Lip? Yeah. Wow. This is another one of ours right here. This is the Rostratus. This is the uh, Predator hat from Lake Malawi. Yeah. And I mean, he's looking great. He needs a female to really shine, but he's still looking pretty pimp. That is a pimp fish, man. Yeah. From Lake Malawi? Yeah. You love them peacocks, dude. Oh, I love peacocks and hats, dude. I mean, the yeah. color is, is You do a great, oh, they're great, man. Yeah. Their color is killer. Yeah. And then, uh, this is your favorite one right here. Oh, son, I love Oscars, yeah, man. Yeah. You know how many videos I've done where Oscars just were number one? Like, that, dude, they got, I mean, look at them, though. I mean, they're bright orange. Like, I mean, how, tell me the story on this fish, man. So, um, we've been. Come down low, I'm gonna get the good shot. Yeah. So, like one problem we, we had is getting a good picture of one because when they're small they don't have that color so like we uh, we've been growing this guy out for almost two years now and he's a he's a stunner yeah dude, stunner, dude. that full orange body on him yeah. that's really 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 cool man because that's a pretty defined orange on there yeah. with not a lot of blotching great work man yeah. I Oscars, yeah. dude. I do, man. They're just so, I mean, they just got so much man. chill and personality dude, and color, like rich dude, color. Dude, everybody loves Oscars once they have them. They're like having a, a true pet, you know what I'm saying, that interacts with you. Oh, yeah. They do not care. They're just like, oh, what's up? Yeah. And they're like, near indestructible. Oh, yeah. Very hard. They don't care. Oh, man. This fish is just giving it to us. Yeah. How long you had this fish again? Uh, this fish is, uh, Around two, probably going on three. You had his fish two years? Yep. Where are you keeping him? In that steam room with all the... Yep, in all the right. greenhouse, yeah. Gotcha. Oh, does he stay in a vat or is he in, in a... a vat. He's a vat, yeah. Who do you feed this boy? Just whatever. Uh, we got a, a carnivore diet that we feed him. Nice. Oh, he's, he's got... Feeders. And a nice little spot on that back, too. Yeah. That's and a great fish. What else, man? Don't forget to hit that notification button as well as that subscribe button so you can make sure you get more of these videos as we're turning them out. Texas right and, here. And this is a, a new strain of 
Carpentis that we're breeding. Um, so it's like the Texas cichlid, but it's bright blue. Bright yeah. Blue. That is cool. Like the Texas, but blue, huh? Yeah, yeah I get it. The uh, lighting's not that good on this. Yeah. Tree. But, uh, I bet he shines when it's... Oh, he shines. Yeah. That's a cool variety. Yeah. But really popular. And then the next... The next pep... We're doing yours. That's a nice Geo. That's you? That's me. Oh, for real? What is that? Geophagus? Wow. Oh, uh, bro. Hey, nice fish, dude. <laughs> That's a nice That's fish. That's a nice... I mean, dude, all your fish are real nice. That Oscar stuff. Bud. Oh Holy cow, man. Where's he from? That's, uh, they come from Brazil. Brazil, wow, look at the red on that. And that's like full size, right? Yeah, or close to it? Size, yeah. That's a beautiful fish, man. You got any babies of that? Yeah, yeah, no, we have them for sale. We, we breed them. Wow, bum bum bum. Geophagus, man, they don't get enough love. No, they don't. But people don't get to see them in this That's true. size and quality. You know? Yeah, yeah. Dang, bro. Yeah, that's a stunner right there. Yeah, I love his reds. Wow. You know, yeah. Everybody knows, go to imperiotropicals.com. Yeah, yeah, they got the good Check out their rainbows, in my opinion, and they always, they do you well and treat you right. But they got fish like this in their playrooms. What else you got, man? Peacocks? Yeah, bring those peacocks. Oh, dude, I already got these on camera. <laughs> but yeah, keep telling, keep tell, show yeah. me though. So what are they? So these are uh, my banshees right here. Nice. Uh, common names like Sunshine Peacock. But these are F1s too, so like- Wow. Uh, I brought in wild stock. And, That's wild stock? Yeah, these are the babies. Wow. Man, you brought those in from Africa and then bred them, and this is the first generation. Yeah. First F generation. Hence F1. F1. Boom! Yeah. Bro? That's nice. That's a fat fish, man. That's love, a love, fat love, fish, love, dude. I love it when they pop like No, right in front of your face, man. I mean, bam! Wow, dude. That's your, your first gen baby of yours? Yeah. Wow, it's fat. Those are beautiful, dude. Yeah. I don't know anybody doing half like you do, man. That's Peacocks not mine, and that's, that, that's nice a nice one. one. Yeah. A little bit different than mine. It doesn't have as much blue in the face, but it's still a nice. Beautiful nice fish, fish, too. I love it. They're, they're looking at each other, too. Yeah. Whoa. This is my fish right nice. Here. Wow. This is dragon blood. Oh, you love these fish, man. These are the Mike D special right here. Dragon blood. You've always had them, right? Oh, dragon yeah. blood's your, your main. Yeah, that's what we're uh, known for. Is that particular strain of dragon blood that we have? That's a hot fish, dude. Yeah. I hate that I'm looking at it through a camera. There we go. Oh, man. It looks like a anthias. Yeah. Or like a saltwater fish, bro. But it's just a fat freshwater fish. Dude, the fins, like, the pattern on that fish is perfect. Yeah. Like, dots. I'm trying to zoom in on this fish here. I missed you, Andrew, on the camera here. Oh, oh, got it. Nailed it. That's it. Boom, dude. Right, and for the show, too, you know? Like, that's what they do. That's why they're so fat, because they got all that personality yeah. just for days. Like, hold on. It's like they thrive in the, like, the show. Damn. This is my fish right here. That's yours too? Yeah, this is also first generation from the wild. So I brought in some wild stock. Nice. This is a sulfur head peacock, mare lady. Ah, that's a cool fish too. Yeah. yeah, and you guys can't see it through the lens. This fish has really, really bomb gold in it. All these fish, the colors in person are just unreal. Like, because it's got a golden. Yeah, same thing. When and I've got like some light against the camera and stuff, so you're not seeing this as good as I am, but that's a great fish. Nice, nice. Very nice. Wow. These goofballs. These are too, dude. They're crazy. Yeah. I'll tell you, my favorite is, uh, I think that dude was my favorite, flower horns. They're pretty sick. Mike D owns Imperial Tropicals. If you don't know, go check out their stuff. They got great fish. Nice fish, dude. Yeah, thank you. Capri Sun keeping it cool in here because it's a bajillion degrees. I'll get used to it. Because I get to do stuff like this. Jacob, yep. what we got, dog? Got the electric blue Acara. I saw these from the top, like, and I was like, what are those? These, are, these a, are a hot fish, man. These are a morph of the Acara, which is the Central American cichlid. Right. They get to be around wow, six inches or so, dude. but uh, they're pretty peaceful. These are grow outs, right? Or are these sellers? No, we'll sell them with the size. Okay. Yeah. 
And uh, as they get bigger, the color just gets nicer. Yeah, nicer. yeah, you can see them just from the top. I, they caught my eye from the surface because I was like looking at them like, oh wow. If you get them, beware, they jump like crazy. So they jump? make oh. sure you have a lid on your tank huh. when you find them on your floor. And they're South American? Central American. Central American. Yeah. We find them all over the place and bats all over the place because they jump. 